Hey Space Invaders, my name is Joachim Garro. Je m'appelle Joachim Garro. I come from Paris. Je viens de France and you are watching Brain Night TV. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the third episode uh, of Bread Night TV from this year's Speed Patrol Festival in Austria. And we have uh, sp and another special guest we who we already had on the Bread Night TV show, exactly. Joachim Garou. Welcome again. Hello, welcome. Welcome back, <laughs> Space Invader. I'm back. <laughs> yes, we are back. <laughs> uh, you just uh, finished your set, the 3D Invasion Tour, which is pretty new. This was the Austria premiere of it. But that's the first one in, uh, in Austria, right? You're right. Um, since when are you on the 3D Invasion Tour and what's so special about it for people who haven't seen it right now? Yeah, the, the special uh, concept of the show is uh, everybody get a special mask. This mask is my, my logo, you know, the, the, the Space Invaders. And uh, they have a special filter with the eyes, and they're going to be able to see the video content I'm playing with death, with 3D. And the good thing is, because uh, I'm controlling and I'm, I'm playing uh, audio, but also video, everything is synchro. So that's something new, because you can be inside the content, and everything is on the rhythm. So it's a really hypnotic show. And uh, nice. I really love to, to play, and I uh, really enjoyed to, to do it today, tonight. Uh, but how do you control video and audio in sync? Because I think Pioneer had some players, like since a couple of years, the DVJ yeah, players. Yeah. Do you use them or what, what stuff do you use to, to sync that? <laughs> so I can really tell you the story about that because I was lucky to, uh, to be, uh, I think, the first one to use the DVJ. Uh, so the first DVJ from Pioneer was the DVJ X1. And uh, I was looking in 2006 to be in Japan, in Tokyo, and I met uh, Hiroshi Kawaguchi. Hiroshi Kawaguchi is the guy who made all the stuff for Pioneer uh, with, again, Inoshita. These two guys, they just create all the DJ stuff, CDJ, uh, DJM, the mixer, the 800, the 500, the D anyway. And then they all also um, create the DVD. And uh, they saw me uh, one night in uh, Tokyo and I was playing with a CDJ and I was crazy like hell just to play with a lot of things together, make you loops. It was a very technical set. And at the end, the guy came in the booth and said, oh, thanks to use my baby like this. Said, Your baby? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know that guy. was that guy coming in the booth? <laughs> and this guy was the, med, the guy who made all the stuff around me. So that was a big honor for me. So I met this guy and the guy gave me his card with two hands like Japanese like this. He gave me his card and said, come to, the, come to, to Pioneer tomorrow. And then I came to, to the Pioneer office, a big building in Tokyo, and uh, it just uh, introduced me to a secret room, you know, like, like uh, impos Mission Impossible, just take the, the, the print and everything to open the door, and that was a secret laboratory of Pioneer. And there was a big machine like this, really big, and it was the first DVJ you can control. And it's, it just said, Joachim, can you do a favor for, for me? Can you try to use that? So I tried and I said, this is good. This is really, really shit. And uh, all the, the engineer around me was not, so this is, <laughs> this is really shit. Shit with a, 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 a. Now, there was nothing like it, really. Huh? And, um, and then two years then, after that, they just released the first DVJ X1. So I was using this on tour for uh, five years. And then uh, three years ago, uh, I met another meeting. I had a, a huge meeting in, in uh, uh, Australia with Serato. And Serato was thinking about introducing the video inside the Scratch Life, which is the main software. And then we were talking about that. And course, Pioneer, they decided to stop DVD because DVD was really down, the, the market. And uh, maybe I was the only DJ to use that. Not really, but we were really few DJs to use a DVJ. Uh, Cold Cut was doing a lot of shows with that too. Cold, cu Cold Cut. Uh, maybe, maybe. But you know, we were maybe less than 20 DJs were, were using this on tour. 
when I say on tour, producing your own video, burn yeah. DVD, it's a lot of work. And then, so when I met Serato, uh, that was the very good timing for me. So we were try starting to chat and now, all the video show I'm playing is with Serato. So this is a special version of Serato, including the fact that I'm just playing video. And the, let's say the next level, and this is the level I create uh, also, and I'm very proud of that, I'm playing 3D video. And this is played through Serato. So this is very easy at the end. This is only one laptop, you know, and uh, I, every time I'm moving, I'm going to one festival to other festival. People, uh, the, the, the technical, uh, people uh, or the, um, the promoter is, is just expecting to have 30 people coming to produce the show and we, I am alone <laughs> at the end <laughs> because I have the laptop and I'm controlling everything through the laptop and this is very flexible. But that show sounds like something that you should actually videotape and burn on DVD and sell as the 3D Invasion DVD to uh, have the experience at home because I think not all of your fans are really able to, to see the 3D show live on the festivals. No, but the good thing is um, all the people would take pics tonight when they're going to push that on Facebook or, or, the, or the video they're going to push on YouTube, if you look at their video, they shoot with the phone, with the mask I gave tonight, okay. it's, this is 3D. So it's not only tonight. The show starts tonight in Australia, but now it's going to, the, the invasion has just begun <laughs> in, in the home, you know? And that's a good thing because now all the people who, t tonight we made some special mask with Beat Patrol on the top. I, I don't know how many we print, but something like 5,000, something like that. So we gave the 5,000 masks. So I know that there is 5,000 people that are going to keep this as a souvenir. And when they go back home and they're going to look on the web, the pics they took, wow, fuck, this is 3D. It works like this also. But does it also work with ordinary 3D glasses or do you have the special ones to, no, to get it? The, the, the technology I choose is the very old and very basic. This is old school technology. This is anaglyph. The, the blue and red is the first one created in the 60s. So that's not something new. But that's the really one works for everywhere and, uh, in the world and especially print and do this kind of mask is cheap compared to, for example, the new 3D technology. When, for example, you go to the theater to see uh, Avatar, you have a special uh, glasses look more like traditional glasses, and this is electronic glasses, and let's say the, this, uh, these glasses are synchro with the screen. So uh, I can't tell you, uh, if, so I can't tell you, yes, but maybe you're gonna cut because maybe nobody is very interested by this, but I had to tell you the story. <laughs> When you go to see Avatar, you have the special glasses, and these glasses, they just close your eyes every, I don't know, something like 1,500 times per second, like this, tac, 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 tac. And every time you, they, they close your eyes, the screen of, of Avatar play a special frame for the left eyes and then a special frame for the right eyes in synchro. That's why they can use this kind of technology. I'm not able to do that because it means that Beat Petrol, they have to do special glasses and each glasses is something like 80 euro. So I'm not sure they're going to be able to give it to people and say bye-bye. So that was the technical lesson for, yes. for today with a teacher. Yes. You have to learn, you have to learn. <laughs> Uh, so besides all the 3D technical things, yes. you had a couple of tracks out uh, yes. that were pretty successful, played by a lot of big names. Yes. Um, what's coming up next from Joachim Garou this summer? What can people expect uh, besides the 3D show, besides yes. the technical lessons? What's coming up next? Let's focus on the music. Yeah. Uh, I have something good coming, I have a brand new album and I made the deal yesterday, I signed with uh, Universal from Euro for Europe and with uh, Sony Music in USA. So I have a brand new album going to be released in September with uh, 14 tracks, including col collabs with uh, different singer. Uh, because this last few months, um, I moved my studio to LA, to in California. And then I met a lot of different people and I made music 
like hell. So I have a brand new album coming with uh, Perry Farrell. He's the a very famous guy in USA. Uh, he's the, the, the leader of uh, Jens Addiction, which is a rock band. Mm -hmm. I've made the track with uh, Chris Willis, the famous uh, voice. Uh, I made, uh, I'm making music every day right now, and the album going to be ready for September. So the brand new release. And I'm very excited about that because, let's say, uh, eight, I play already eight songs tonight, and I was pretty successful, and people they never heard about before. And this is great because when you play a brand new song, nobody heard, and people, they just put their hands up in the air, and they make party, it's a very good sign. That's true. That's true. <laughs> now you know the truth. <laughs> so now we know the truth about music production in a way, about the 3D technology. Yes. Uh, is there anything else you want to share with us? <laughs> um, no, I'm so happy. Life is pretty amazing, you know, doing this show in Australia. Tomorrow I'm going to London. Uh, this is amazing. So I want to thank you, everybody, the Space Invaders from Australia. I love that country. And, and I, uh, the first time I came here was 2000. Uh, three, I think. So uh, it's 10 years for me to come every year in uh, Australia. And um, I, I really like the, this country. It's, uh, the education, the musical education is great. And also they love to make party in a good way. You know, there's very positive vibes. And it, this is exactly uh, what's, what I'm very proud of my, my community, the Space Invaders, you know, happy and uh, funny. Yeah. So everybody who's watching this, you should definitely come to Vienna one day. Yes. Best would be when Joy King Roy is playing a show here. Yes, for sure. No, next time. All right? Okay. So thank you for the time again. Check out Joy King Roy's new album uh, on Universal in Europe and Sony in the US yes. in September. September. And uh, maybe I see you then on tour again and we talk about the album. Yeah, I hope so. Thank you. Thanks for the time. <laughs> thank you.